Keaton Jennings on his England redemption. And his new look for West Indies. Keaton Jennings has spent the past few weeks between England tours alongside his dad, Ray, watching reruns of his spectacular fielding displays in Sri Lanka. He made the short leg position his own with a blend of anticipation, agility and audacity that saw him involved in some stunning dismissals. However, before flying out on the test tour of the Caribbean on Friday, the 26-year-old acknowledged that in Inesha's year he will be judged on his runs at the top of the order. They are moments I've watched back with my father over the last few weeks, he said. They are ones to cherish. At times sport is tough and lonely, especially recently when it's been hard work for a batter, he said. But I know I have created a level of expectation and that come next week I will have to perform again. So far, I have done just as much prep as I did for the Sri Lanka tour. I will do a bit more in the heat when I get out there. It'll be a mixture of one hand, real sharpen your eyes up catching and recreating, as best you can, match situations. Paul Collingwood puts a pad on and he kicks some, hits others, at you. It keeps you on your toes, so a lot of the credit goes to him. Having a former South Africa coach for a father means Jennings usually takes work home when visiting family, this time footage of the 3-0 win over the Sri Lankans to assess his performances. With just the three tests versus West Indies before the scheduled first ball goes down against Australia at Edgbaston on August 1, the scrutiny will be like nothing before. It means Jennings could do with a reprise of his form in Gale, where he struck an unbeaten 146 in the second innings, and 192 runs all told, to buy himself more time in his quest to succeed Sir Alistair Cook as England opener in the long term. The last year hasn't produced the results I'd have liked so it was good to make a score in a winning test match, added Jennings, who averages 26.62 in 15 tests. As, England coach, Trevor Bayliss said, the currency we are dealing in is runs and if you don't deal in it you can't be picked. To repay faith that has been given to me was awesome. There were some tough times but I had to believe I could come through that dark tunnel. I don't know if there is more to repay. Look at Cookie, who after 160-odd test matches, still had to face people saying he didn't score enough runs. Each test you play generates huge interest and the ashes are seven months away. You don't want one eye on Australia with what could be eight first-class games, three test matches, nine one-day games, and some 2020 cricket in between. It's probably too far ahead. For me. It's about getting to Barbados in the best possible condition and trying my guts out like I always do in an England shirt. Jennings will arrive in Barbados looking very different than on his last visit. A year ago he was captain of an England Lions team, including Ben Fuchs and Jack Leach, well beaten by West Indies A he has shaved his head for charity. Raising money for Macmillan cancer support is close to his heart because his Andy Dell is going through chemotherapy. Jennings has spent the last few days with a binyan, feeling very cold but he has been warmed by the generosity of others. Especially that of former Durham teammate Ben Stokes, who agreed to match 50% of the funds raised when the Clippers came out last Friday, and promptly donated £1,500 to a pot of £2,800. Stokes he's had a tough 18 months and I might be biased as one of his mates but he is one of the most generous people I know. Jennings said. I couldn't speak highly enough of him. He makes a commitment and he honours it. Meanwhile, James Vince, 27, is to join Australia's Big Bash League after agreeing to replace Joe Denley at Sydney Sixers. The Hampshire batsman has been with Auckland in New Zealand's 2020 competition since the turn of the year. Denley will now return home before heading to the Caribbean with the England Test and one-day squads. 